Hello y'all, this is Brushfire One Dragon, and welcome back to Blackwell Unbound. I'm sorry I didn't put out a, a WoW video last week, it was just very, a very not good week, and I, one of our cats went missing, it was my brother's cat, but still. Um, and I, I did get my first big writing commission, so if you follow me on DeviantArt and Fur Affinity, you'll be reading that, or at least you'll see it in my queue. Okay, uh... Feeling better? I turned it down, but now it's too quiet. Does it want a hug? Okay, I recorded the entire episode. And then Xbox Game Bar had decided to look at the Steam Launcher for the whole time. So it looks like I've gotten it to play with that glitch anymore. Feeling better? I'm so confused, Joey. I feel like the answer is on the tip of my tongue. I just can't figure it out. Well, let's chat for a while. Brainstorm a bit. Maybe we'll come up with something. She's a medium like me. It makes no sense. It does make sense, actually. She's not an animal or another ghost. The only way she could see me is if she was a medium like you. Why would a medium kill? Maybe she doesn't think of it as killing. She did say she helped people, saved them. By killing them? Maybe she felt they were better off dead? I don't think so. Mavis and Isaac were sad mixed up people. But they didn't deserve to die. Maybe she thinks otherwise. Is she my future? What do you mean? That woman, the countess, or whatever she's called. Is that what happens to mediums when they get old? I... I don't know, darling. I really don't. But I won't let that happen to you. You have my word on that. If she's a medium, where is her spirit guide? You know, I wondered that myself. I'm your connection to the spirit world. The Countess, or whoever she is, doesn't have that. Or at least none that we can see. Is it possible to be a medium without a guide? I don't think so, sweetheart. That's one thing I'm sure of. Medium and guide, that's how it works. What could have happened to her spirit guide? I don't know. I thought you couldn't leave my side. I know. Either her spirit guide managed to escape, or... Or what? Or it was killed. Is that possible? I don't know. I don't think I want to know. So what could her connection be? Dunno. Something has to connect her to the spirit world. It's not another ghost or we would see it. So it must be something else. Something that has a connection to everything we've seen. Or someone. Yeah, that's it. The Countess connects these two cases. There has to be something or someone else that has the same connection. As the Southern Reporter... Joseph Mitchell? Bingo! The Reporter? How could he have this kind of power? I don't know how he got the power, but it all fits. He wrote about both Mavis and Isaac, and the Countess killed both of them. He seems like the best candidate. But it doesn't make any sense. Think about it. You're a medium. What is it that mediums do? We help spirits into the next world. Exactly. A medium needs a guide. Hers is gone. Somehow Mitchell fills in the gap. Our Countess is being told through Mitchell's writing to help certain spirits into the next world. It's not her fault they're still alive. You mean... I think you get the picture. Oh god. That's sick. It makes sense though. How is this possible? There's only one way to find out. It's time we paid our friend Mitchell one more visit. just to make sure that, uh, that it really did record properly. Don't know what I could do with it. Okay, the first recording did go through. Um, hopefully this one works.
Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. Yes? Miss Blackwell. Hello again, Mr. Mitchell. I was just about to head home. Oh, I'll just be a second. Well, if you insist, do have a seat. Thanks, but I'd rather stand. Go on, let him have it. Mind if I smoke? Well, actually... Thanks. Miss Blackwell, my patience is wearing thin. My family is waiting for me. Tell me what you want. You finished your writing for the day, Mr. Mitchell? Yes, yes I have. And now I'm going home. He's full of hot air. The page is blank. You haven't written anything today, have you? Why do you say that? The paper is blank. What? How do you know that? I have exceptional eyesight. There's dust. Don't forget the dust. And there's dust on the typewriter. Well, can't contradict you there. So? So, I don't think that's any of your business, Miss Blackwell. Now, if you'll excuse me. Mr. Mitchell, two people are dead. So I gathered. You wrote about both of them. Yes, I did. You don't find anything suspicious about that. I've written about hundreds of people over 30 years. The fact that two of them happen to be dead does not surprise me. It's just a coincidence. Funny thing about my life, Mr. Mitchell? If something looks like a coincidence, it normally isn't. Well, I hate to disappoint you. Ooh, look at the sweat on this guy's brow. If he ain't lying, I'm dying. So to speak. You aren't a very good liar. And you are poking your nose into things you don't understand. You'd be surprised at what I understand, Mr. Mitchell. Try me. Who are you, anyway? You come in, out of the blue, and bring up all this. All of what? I don't know. I... I honestly don't know. I write about people and they die. Can you understand that, can you? My whole life I've been driven to write about people. Now I kill them instead. Why is this happening? I think it's a penance of some kind. I've shared the intimate details of people's lives with the world. Perhaps I revealed one secret too many. I don't think about it anymore. I just come to work like nothing's wrong. Everyone's been very polite so far, but I'm sure the ball will drop someday. You've done nothing wrong. There's a woman called the Countess. She kills whoever you write about. A Countess? Killing people that I write about. That's a tall story. And that's a lot to take in. Why would she do something like that? How did this happen? Probably because of your connection to humanity. I don't know. You said probably, so you're not sure? Not as such, no. Well then, I appreciate you trying, but I'd prefer if you left well enough alone. I can't leave it alone, Mr. Mitchell. Oh, rest assured you can. You seem like a capable young lady, and I'm sure you think you know what's what, but I don't want any more deaths on my conscience. I'm trying to help you. And I never asked for it. People die when I write. So, I don't write. The problem's solved. No, it's not. You're not a murderer, Mr. Mitchell. No, I'm not. Five years back, I tried to write about a man. An old man in a bar. He was killed the next day, choked to death. I didn't think anything of it at the time. Then I wrote about another man, Mr. Isaac Brown. You know him. He died the same way. Still figured it was just a coincidence. But then it happened with Mavis Wilcox. For the third time in a row! No, I didn't kill them. Not on purpose. But if I wrote a fourth time, that would be murder. Plain and simple. Don't you want to write again? Oh, yes. But people are safe as long as I don't write about anything real. I've always wanted to try a hand at fiction. Had a story in my head for years. I'll probably give it a whirl, see how it goes. But no more deaths. Not on my watch. Don't you want to help? There's a killer out there who only kills people I write about. So I stop writing about people. Problem solved. If you won't help me, I'll have to go to the police. Oh, and tell them what? All those deaths, all killed the same way, so soon after you met them, I'm sure they'd be interested in that information. Is that right? Well, I'd be careful if I were you. Careful? I'm not without defenses, if you know what I mean. Is that a threat? Are you threatening to write about me? I didn't say anything. You know what? Go right ahead. What do you mean? You want to write so bad? Write about me. 
dust off that typewriter and get to work. Knock yourself out. Listen, I spoke out of turn. I didn't honestly mean... Hell with that. Just do it. Hey, this is dangerous. I know what I'm doing. I can't do it. Like hell you can't. You've been writing for how long? 30 years? More? I know you can do it. I want to meet this thing head on. It's the only way. Do it. You don't know what you're asking. What's the worst that could happen? You could die. Oh. Is that all? But... Quiet. Right. I was born in Troy, upstate New York. My mother's name was Patricia. My father... You getting this stuff down? Well, I hope you're happy. I'm never happy. Hey. We're supposed to be a team. You can't make this kind of decision without asking me first. Button it, Joey. If this bra's a medium like me, then I have some questions for her. If I'm gonna end up like that, I wanna know. And if she kills you for your trouble? Well, then I won't have to worry. And what happens to me, huh? You die, what the heck happens to me? You'll move on to whoever's next. That's how it works, doesn't it? It's not about that. Maybe you'll end up with my baby brother. I'm sure you guys will get along great. Yeah, great. When do you think she'll get here? I don't know. I feel her coming, though. She knows who I am. How can you feel that? I just do. She was right. She's like me. Maybe mediums call out to each other. So, any thought on how to handle her? Nope, not a one. I just want to talk to her. Well, she can see and hear me, so I can help. You're not alone. Yeah. You understand? You're not alone. I'm tired, Joey. I'm so tired. All right. I'll just leave you to it. Yeah. She's here. So polite of her to knock. Oh, the music's changed. This is her bed. She can lie in it. Watching you. So, what's your story? I want to help you. Help me, huh? You're in pain? Lost? I can help. Who are you? I am the Countess. Do you have a guide? The spirit guide? I still feel her. She is gone, but not completely gone. What do you mean? Kid, her mind is snapped. She's not gonna make any sense. Yes, she snapped my mind. She went away and my world expanded. I see everything, everything. It hurts. You're bonded with Joseph Mitchell. Is that his name? The guide who is not a guide? Yes, the non-guide. He speaks to the world. He spoke to me. He tells me what to do. Oh, he is so often silent. It's been years since I heard his voice. But tonight, I heard him. He told me to help you. He didn't tell you that. Why else would I be here? I... I'm here to help you. You're here to kill me. No! I don't kill! I will set you free! Hey, watch it, lady. Who was your spirit guide? She had a name I no longer know. I wish I knew. I cannot think. Not without her. Why did she leave? Why? Were you like me before your spirit guide went away? Like you? You know, sane. Joey. I was happy. I was smaller. Saw the world in muted colors. And there was music. Sweet music. We helped people. It felt good. Now she is gone. Now I help people, but it feels bad. Where is your spirit guide now? I don't know. Her voice is gone. 
I'm lost. I found that other voice, but he is so quiet. You mean Mitchell? The true guide. She is gone. Gone. How did she go away? I don't know. She found a way. Why did she do that? Will I become like you? Please tell me. That's all I want to know. You? You are loved. Loved? Loved by who? You are in pain, my child. Let me help you. Were you like me before? Like you. You know. Joey. I was- I was solved and then we helped now she now I- I'd like to help you instead. Help me? I need no help. You need to be free. Hey. Hey! Let her go, you old witch! Damn it! I can't do anything! Fight her! Lauren, fight back! Fight back, damn you! <laughs> Alright! That's what happens when you mess with us. Stay away from her! No, she needs my help! Hey, you want to help someone? Why don't you help me? You want to free a spirit? Well, I'm the real McCoy. You? Yeah, that's right. Come and save me. I'm right here. I... Wait. I'm supposed to help her. Oh! My head! I'm waiting. I'll save you. No! The connection is gone. I cannot save you. But I can still save her. Hey. I said, hey, I need help. Help? I'm in pain. What are you going to do about it? I can help you. No, Joey. You're past your prime. I don't think you can handle it. You. Come on, then. Make with the saving. You need me? Come on, take me to the place with the bright light. I can help you. You're so good at helping, let's see you help me. I will set you free. Well, come on, what are you waiting for? I, I want to help you. Why won't you let me help you? Uh, jo Joey? First time around, I really was not expecting this out. I'm sorry. <coughs> I can't look, is she? Yeah. There's no. No ghost. She's gone. Gone. I killed her. It was either her or you, darling. You made the right choice. Did I? What if what if that's me one day, huh? What if I'm old and confused and alone? You won't be alone. I'll make sure of that. You say that now. But look at her. Her guide was gone. I can't speak for the future, kid. Maybe someday we'll meet someone like her. And then maybe we'll find out more. But right here, right now, I'm here and I'm staying put. That's something, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, it's something. This is a bad idea. You don't need to do this. Hello? Hi. Jack? Lauren? Sis, is that you? Yeah, Jack. It's me. Where have you been? It's not important. I miss you. Tell me about your life, Jack. How's Maria? When's the wedding? This is a really bad idea. So it takes place before Rose is born. When the sun sits quietly on the sea, when the stars shine, it was kind of frustrating. Sad old memory. Get a little bit of mark in my grave. Really hope this one worked.
before it said 48 times so I don't know what happened when the, so the, the bonus photos are lost but um, quietly uh, so for this week it was super sad I mean you're gonna get and help a ghost get to the other side is super sad, sad but then memory. even with that, that part the count is killing everyone and Solitude and then, uh, Lauren ended up like she does in the first game. When the moon but um, I really enjoyed it, and I will be back in two weeks with the next in the game in the um, series. And next week I'll try to get uh, a WoW video up for you guys. That her love is fresh from the dragon's side.